Hello viewers and welcome to Need for Speed High Stakes or Road Challenge as it is known in Europe. Due to the 25th anniversary of Need for Speed coming up and due to the fact that this Need for Speed is actually 20 years old as of this year, I thought let's do another playthrough of the career play. I've done this game before but I've never done it with the commentary and since you guys liked the previous videos with commentary I thought you know what the hell I'm just gonna do this game with commentary oh yeah and I already forgot that if you end up doing not a lot of things during the main menu or moving the mouse you get a little demo gameplay how nice is that Uh, this game still looks the same as I remember. Alright, and with that little demo video out of the way, let's start. Alright, so you have a couple of options. Uh, you can do a few different game modes, but we're mainly here for the career play. So this is going to be a let's play of the career mode of Need for Speed High Stakes. And as you can see, complete in established racing circuits to earn money, buy cars and win trophies. And that is exactly what we plan on doing. Alright, please select or create your profile. Let's go with Need for Speeder because that is what we are. We love the Need for Speed games. Right, so as you can see, the first thing that we have to do is we have to purchase our initial car. And we have 25,000 in the bank. And, well, this car is 20,000. Just a quick note, I've also added in the official add-on cars. Because this is the PC version. And someone actually uh, remade the bonus cars from the PlayStation version of Need for Speed High Stakes for the PC version. So I've also installed uh, those. And there are a couple of bonus cars which we'll unlock uh, during the career playthrough. Alright, so far since this is our very first start of the playthrough, we can only afford two different cars. The Mercedes SLK 230 and the BMW or the Bimmer as some people will prefer it. Alright, let's do a little car compare because they both cost the same amount of money. Let's see who has the upper hand. Um, BMW Z3 it was I believe. Alright, so acceleration definitely goes to the BMW but the Top speed is better for the Mercedes. Braking way better, but handling for the Mercedes. Well, overall, I actually prefer the handling. Are these all the Class B cars, or do we have more? Let's check it out. Class B cars. Oh, well, apparently here there's only one. Hmm, I guess that's just a little bug there. All right, no worries. Purchase your initial car. All right, well, we are going to go with the Mercedes. And yeah, yellow is not the color for me. White, magma red, black. Black's pretty cool. Bahama blue. This one's not bad either. Ooh, yes. The silver one. This one's pretty. This one is really nice, actually. All right, we're gonna do this one in silver. And they have a little showcase as well, so let's find out what they have to say about our car. Price, not available. That's a very good price. Performance. 143 miles per hour. <laughs> 0 to 67.1 seconds. Not the quickest tool in the shed, I would say. Or the quickest 
horse in the barn. Car interior. Nice leather seats. Seeing a lot of red, which goes nicely with the brilliant silver that we're using. Slideshow. Mercedes-Benz has built many legendary sports cars over the years, from the famous 1928 SSK to the classic 1954 300 SL Gullwing. But the all-new SLK 230 is possibly the most innovative of them all. The thing that sets the SLK apart from rival sports cars is that it's both a coupe and a convertible, thanks to a unique steel roof that cleverly folds and retracts into the trunk in just 25 seconds at the touch of a button. Even with the roof folded, there's still plenty of room in the trunk, making this very much a one-of-a-kind sportster. A car for all seasons and all reasons, as Mercedes describes it. The compact SLK is powered by a supercharged 2.3-liter twin-cam four-cylinder that develops 193 horsepower, giving the lightweight car snappy acceleration at a top speed that's up with the best in its class. With its sophisticated all-independent suspension, the SLK is a nimble performer on winding roads. Safety was a major design parameter right from the start, and the SLK incorporates dual integrated rollover bars, front and side airbags, and a very rugged body structure. The SLK cleverly took styling cues from those great Mercedes sports cars of the past with its long hood and short trunk. The twin power domes on the hood are a tribute to the legendary 300 SL and the interior combines wonderfully retro instruments and controls with advanced engineering design. Yeah, it's too bad that we're not driving the 300 SL. Well, oh well. All right. Purchase your initial car. Yes, I think I'm finally ready to buy my initial car. And yet for some reason it always turns back to the BMW. But we are definitely going with this one. What about the mirror? Is this my account? Oh, car expenses. And repair a car. Are you sure you want to purchase this car? Yes, I am. 20,000 is actually not that much for this car. All right, and we still have a balance of 5,000. And for some reason, we're now back in career play. Let's try that again. All right, so we have the European tour. This is the only tour that we can do at the moment. And we have two tracks. And we have our garage. 5,000 in the bank. And we can do the top up or the top down. I guess that kind of depends on the weather. And we can also upgrade our car. Can we afford the first? No, we can't afford the first upgrade. 5200. That's quite an upgrade actually in the handling. Okay, what well does the second one? All right, got some increased top speed. Third one. And there goes the acceleration. All right, that's good to know. And this is 6000. 4052. Why is the second upgrade cheaper than the first one? Well, we don't have to repair the car. We're going to use the top down. Trophy room. Here. All right. So there are 10 tournaments in total. All right. Good to know. Well, let's start with the first tournament, three track tournament. All right, amateurs, five opponents, two laps. Class restriction is open, so we could enter with a different car than our class B car. That's interesting to note. And there's no entry fee, and it will only net us 5,000. All right, Celtic Ruins. Well, let's enter the circuit and let's get on with our very first race Celtic Ruins Three, two, 
Alright, off the line. Oh, hey, there are some other... Ah, since it's open, some guys apparently already have like a class A car, I guess that is. Okay, who are we racing? Hare. Bully. There's a bully on the track. Annihilate, I guess that's supposed to mean. Ooh, easy. Nasty. And we got Jam. Or J A M. Alright, there is some resistance on the track between the cars. Nice. Another guy driving top down. Well, since we are in first place, this is probably going to be an easy win because we're up against amateur class drivers. So I'm already three seconds ahead. Oh. And there we go, we have our first 1% of damage, our suspension. I guess after a jump like that, your suspension is probably going to suffer a bit, yeah. Alright, so what's the track record for this one? 1 minute 34 seconds. Well, we're not gonna... Gonna... Whoa! Gonna beat that one on our first try. I have to admit, this car is pretty quick and we're actually leaving the competition behind somewhat. Well, not somewhat. We're pretty much leaving the competition behind. Six seconds. Alright, hair is not doing brilliantly. 15 seconds behind. Well, I think this is going to be the easiest win in history. I'm probably going to win by a landslide. Ten seconds. Well, I recently also played through the PlayStation version of High Stake, which is uh, totally different from the PC version. And you also have like tournaments and stuff like that. But the competition is, well, it's not as easy as I would say as in this game. I mean, come on, hair, 24 seconds behind. Are you even racing or are you walking? Kind of a tricky corner there. And across the line. Great lap. You've won the race. Yes, that was my intention to win the race. And it was very easy to win the race. Alright. Jam came in second, 25 points. Two, Bully, 20 go. in a fourth. XR8. Ah, so they are using different cars. I wonder if I can actually buy a car then. Because that is not... Well, it is an open restriction, but that is not a Class B car, I think. It is one of the official add-on cars that I've installed. Well, not official, but it was part of the Australian version of Need Speed High Stakes. A pretty nice replay. All right, our second course, Landstrasse. But Lord, I wanna 
actually do real quick is go to the showroom because they were driving a Ford. Is that a class B car? No, right? No, it's a class A car. And it's 27,000. All right, so some of my competition actually had a bit more money. But now I'm really curious how much better is this car? Uh, compare head to head. Ford XR8 versus our Mercedes. All right, so acceleration is better, but top speed is worse. Interesting. Yet yeah, this is considered a class A car. All right. Good to know. We'll keep that in the back of our head. Do we have extra money? No, we don't. And the next track is going to be Landstrasse. Actually, can we get some... No, we're not getting any track info, apparently. Track records we can check. Oh, he was driving <laughs> a bit quicker than we are. Alright, so weather off, night driving off, mirrored. Okay, so we can keep the top down. Should we repair our car? Do we have any damage? A little bit of damage to the handling. Braking. Overall, $39. $39. I guess I can spare $39. Alright, Landstrasse. Since we came in first place, we're starting in first place as well. You think you're going uh, jam? If you have a better acceleration off the line. Oh, crap. All right, bully. That was not very nice. To drive a little bit more aggressive. Alright, so Bully is now in second place. I guess this would be in Germany. Ah, I already seen the German flag. And Landstrasse. Strasse sounds very German. Probably means street. Alright, I have to admit this is probably a little bit boring already to watch since once again, I mean, they're not putting up much of a fight. Although there has been some... Some strange developments in the rest of the... Because Jam is now up to 4th place. We have actually Nasty in 2nd place. I always find it interesting in this game how the AI actually drives and reacts to the situations. So far they have not been much of a bother. Ah, Bully back in 4th now. And jam back in third. Final lap. Uh, about 30 seconds, 40 seconds slower than the lab record. I have to admit, this car is handling very fine. At least they're not that far behind as with the first track. Six 
16 seconds annihilate. Well, it's good to see that Hare is not in last place now. He's managed to move up into fifth place. And once again, we got 1% of suspension damage. Not bad, I would say. Ooh. Really? No, that was no damage. All right. All right, so far this first tournament is going pretty smoothly. Annihilate 16 seconds, 16, 17 seconds behind. They're not in the 20 seconds range anymore, so. And Bully is back in third position. And we're across the line. Best lap, you placed first. Yeah, 36 seconds apart from the... Oh no, wait. No, less. 26. Alright, let's see what happened. Okay, oh, so Jam managed to catch up and come in third. 45, so I got a 15 point lead now. Nasty came in second. 41, so he's hot on Jam. Bully 36, and Hair Annihilate. It's a tie. 20. I wonder if I would have bought a Class A car and also the Ford XR8 and if we upgrade them, then if it would be better than the Mercedes upgraded. Alright, we'll find out. Alright, final track, Route Andomf. Uh, which is... Oh, it's the European tour, so oh, this is in France. Apparently we're going through a small little town here. Let's see how much it costs to repair our car. $17. That is a huge amount of money. And is it going to be... During the day again? Yes, it is. All right. Final one. Root Adomf. Three, two, one, go. All right, nasty in second. And he's also faster, and they're both driving in the Mercedes. So I guess that's why they can keep up with one another. Driving through this small Parisian village. Alright, so now it's going to be between Nasty and Jam. Guess for who will win the second place, unless something crazy happens. Hair once again in fifth. And we are once again in the lead, seven seconds already. Sharp turn to the left here. Fifteen seconds is here already behind. Oh, jam! Probably made some sort of mistake. Ooh! Ah, we managed to knock down the traffic uh, traffic sign. Well, that was going to give us some damage. One percent steering, but the engine is still okay. And Jam is now actually in 5th place. Mm. 
Will he manage to catch up or if it's gonna be like this? One more lap to go. We'll see what happens. It's the final lap. It is. No, oh, that was bad for the suspension. Because these cobblestones, which I assume they're supposed to be, are not that neater or that good for our suspensions as well. Alright, 10 seconds in the lead over number 2, nasty. Followed up by Bully and then Annihilate. Whoop. Better that I don't make any mistakes. Alright, so Landstrasse they were able to keep up a bit better than here, because Hare is 23 seconds behind. I mean, it's normal that this first tournament is going to be easy, but that it would be like a walk in the park. I didn't even expect that. Should you guys wonder uh, how I'm playing this game, I actually managed to install it on Windows 10. Uh, Thanks to uh, a fan-made patch made by Veg, I think it's called. He's called, and uh, it's uh, running the nice uh, 3DFX uh, version of uh, High Stakes. So that's why we get the nice graphics. Great lap! You placed first. All right, first place. Let's see what happens. Right, so Nasty came in second, 66. Three. Jam. He really had to deliver on the points. Came in fifth, 12 points only. And. Oh, but he still came in third in the championship. And next behind is Bully with only one point difference. Annihilate in fifth, and then finally in sixth place, Hare. He tried, but I guess he was down on his luck. I do wonder what happened to... Because let's check out if we can... I think we can... Hair? No, we don't want to check hair. Ah, they're driving too close together. But well, Jam is still in. Is this the point where he gets overtaken? Looks like it. I guess something went terribly wrong. Yeah, this is where he was. No, not. Hmm. Nasty. Most people don't actually know that you can click on them individually. Ah, here he is. Alright. Alright. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this circuit. You have been awarded the gold medal. All right, we have been awarded the gold medal, and that was it. Lovely, the sound of money. Kaching, just shy of a ten thousand dollars. Press space to continue. Move on to the next circuit. All right, so the second turn, oh, the second circuit in the European Tour is going to be a three-track tournament as well. Once again, two laps, amateur level and open, and that is interesting. It's open again, so I wonder. No, we can't sell our first car, can we? All right, we're going to leave this one for the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.